Within object oriented programming, we have an acronym that is a PI. Now, this acronym stands for abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance, and encapsulation. Now, you may be going, what on earth is a PI and what are these four ideas, these philosophies within object oriented programming? Well, over these next few lectures, you will learn about every single idea listed here. Now, the first philosophy and idea in the acronym is abstraction. So what do we mean by abstraction in object oriented programming? Well, your mind does abstraction on a daily basis and I'll prove it to you right now. I want you to think of an apple in your mind. What your mind has just done is abstraction. You didn't care about any of the details, the properties or the nouns of that object. All you did was thought of an apple. So you abstracted away all the details. You didn't need a width, you didn't need a height, you didn't need color such as red or green. You just thought of an apple. And I gave you nothing visual. So your mind just abstracted away all of those details and it just thought of the object that I said. And so if I was to say, think of a table, again, your mind doesn't need to know the width and the height of the table, how many legs the table has, or a chair, for example, how many legs does a chair have, the design of the chair. It doesn't matter. You just think of the abstract idea of an apple, of a table, of a chair. You don't care about those little details. And that's exactly what we do in object oriented programming. We generalize. And that's where your classes come in. For example, cast your mind back to the last lecture. We had a class for all of the bank accounts. We had a class for all of the branches and so forth. So the whole idea is we generalize to the point where we abstract. We look at the program in its most basic form. And then from that basic template, we can then start adding in more detail afterwards. But what we first do is we generalize. We work with the abstract layer of our application and then we go into detail.